Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Ling Guan from University of Waterloo. I'm a master's student. And today I'm going to talk about uh, Carousel, a low latency transaction processing system for globally distributed data. And this work was done in collaboration with a number of my colleagues at the University of Waterloo. And this work was motivated by the increasing number of applications and the services that has global users. This includes the services we use every day, such as social networks, search engines, and cloud services. One of the key challenges to provide these services is to ensure that the users have low latency. One approach is to build a data center close to the user and serve the user from the nearby data centers. This can lead the users to generate the data from different parts of the world. To manage this data, one way is to make a use of a geo-disputed database system, such as Google Spanner or CockroachDB. And this system will provide two functionalities. First one is high availability and the fault tolerance. The systems can use Paxos to replicate the data into different data centers. And it also can provide scalability by sharding the data into different data partitions. And the data center only store a fraction of these partitions. This is a very good way to scale the system. However, it leads to very high latency when executing a multi-partition transactions. Even if applications usually share the data in the way that many transactions only touch one partition, in some cases, multi-partition transactions are unavoidable. Spanner requires multiple round trips to complete such a transaction. Let me illustrate the protocol using an example. So this is the architecture of Spanner-like system. It has client and different data partitions. For each partition, Paxos are used to provide fault tolerance and also have the fault tolerance coordinator to manage the 2PC protocol. So first, the client will send the read request to the partition leaders. After retrieving the read data, the client can perform some write operations and send the commit to the leaders as well. If there's no conflict, the leader will prepare this transaction and the replicate to its followers. After this replication, the leader will send the prepared result to the coordinator. Then following by the 2PC protocol, the coordinator can determine either to, prepare, uh, either to commit or abort this transaction. Once it has a decision, it will do the replication first before it sends to the client and the leaders as well. So this is a very easy approach. It just layers two PC protocol on top of a consensus protocol. However, all these steps are executed sequentially, which incurs very high latency, and this protocol requires 4.5 round trip to complete. There are uh, many ways to reduce this latency. One easy way is to respond to the client before we make the commit decision reliable. And this is possible because the commit decision is deterministic based on the information that is already for torrent. Another approach used by many other systems, such as MDCC and Taper, is to create a faster path where the systems can execute the 2PC prepare and the replication steps just uh, in, uh, in parallel. And by doing so, these two steps can be done just uh, in one wide area network round trip. However, the faster pass can fail if there are conflicting transactions that run concurrently. As a result, the system has to rerun the entire transaction using a slow pass, which will cause the worst case latency to be quite high. And this high latency motivated us to build a carousel, which is a distributed database system that can complete a transaction in at most two wide area network round trips when there is no failure. Carousel can do this by paralyzing the read operations with 2PC prepare. And this is possible because we are targeting a slightly less general transaction model, which we call it two wrong fixed set interactive transactions. I will talk about 2FI transaction later in this talk. And Carousel can further reduce the latency by parallelizing the 2PC prepare with the replication. Similar to other systems, it borrows idea from faster Paxos. 
The difference is carousel are able to run the slow and the faster path at the same time by modifying the consensus protocol. And this allows carousel can complete many transactions just in one wide area network round trip. So before I can talk about carousel in detail, I need to introduce the architecture first. The architecture of carousel is very similar to the spanner-like system. It also has uh, data partitions. For each partition, instead of uh, pa using Paxos, carousel uses Raft to provide uh, for torrents, and we also have for torrent coordinator to manage the pro uh, to PC protocol. And additionally, carousel requires the client, which is usually an application, is co-located with the coordinator. Before I can talk about the transaction protocol, I need to introduce the, our transaction model first, which is the 2FI transaction. Stands for the two round fixed set interactive transactions. So two rounds means the read round followed by a write round, and it is fixed set, means the, we know the read keys and the write keys at the beginning of the transaction. And it is interactive because the write value can depend on the read value and we also support user aboard. Some examples of 2FI transactions are transforming the balance between accounts and also updating the user password. However, 2FI model is not sufficient for some transactions. For example, the TPCC payment transaction where the write key can depend on the read value. And for these transactions, we still can support by using our reconnaissance transactions that help us to determine the likely right keys. Now, based on the 2FI transaction and the architecture, I can talk about carousel in detail. And this example, I will show you how carousel reduce the latency by parallelizing the read operations and the 2PC prepare. The transaction in this example will touch two partitions. Partition one's leader and the coordinator are in the same data center as the client and partition two's leader is remote. This is a time diagram where the time is flowing down. Carousel consists of four phases, the, where the read phase followed by a commit phase, and the prepare phase is running parallel with the read and the commit. And in the end, we have asynchronized write back phase. So first, the client will send the read request to the partition leaders, and the leader will send back this result to the client immediately. And after this, the client can perform some write operations and buffer the write data. At the point where the client decides to commit this transaction, normally in Spanner, the client will ask each participant leader to prepare this transaction. However, in Carousel, because we are targeting on 2FI transaction, we know the read keys and the write keys at the beginning of the transaction. So we can move the prepare request all the way up to here. We can send the prepare together with the read request along with the read keys and the write keys. Then based on those keys, each participant leader can independently make a decision on this transaction to prepare or abort this transaction. And once it has this decision, it will do the replication first and then send back to the coordinator. And things we already issued the prepared request and when the client finish the writing data locally, then they can just uh, directly send the commit request to the coordinator along with the write data. And the coordinator will first uh, replicate this write data to make it for torrent. And once it receives all the prepared re result from the partition leaders and also finish this replication, it has all the information it needs to make the final decision of this transaction and then it will send to the coordinator, uh, to, to back to the client. And asynchronously, the coordinator will send the commit result and the write data to the partition leaders so that each partition can commit this transaction. Again, the write back phase is not on the critical path, only the three first three phases count into the latency. So the read phase and the commit phase take one wide area network round trip respectively, and the prepare phase take two wide area network round trips. Things will parallel the prepare with the read and commit. So in total, carousel only requires two wide area network round trip to complete the transaction. 
So this example shows us the first technique carousel used to reduce the latency. So next, I will show you the second technique carousel used to further reduce the latency. The second uh, technique is parallelizing the two PC prepare with the replication. Again, this borrows the idea from faster Paxos. So the client will send the prepare request not only to the leader, but also to the followers. Then each member in this group will independently make a decision of this transaction. In this case, they all decide to prepare the transaction. And then they will send back the result back to the coordinator. If the coordinator receives a super majority of the nodes agree on the same result, then the faster pass succeed, 2PC prepare, and the replication can be done just in one round trip. The problem is, what if the faster pass fails? This is because one of the nodes returned a different result from the others, and this may due to the fact that it received a different ordering of conflicting transactions. As a result, we need to fall back to a slow path, and the coordinator will reissue this transaction through the leader, and then the leader will replicate to his followers, forcing the followers to have the same log ordering as the leader, and the leader will send back the result to the coordinator. <coughs> so in total, this protocol requires three round trips, including the slow and the faster path. Instead, in carousel, we are able to run the slow and the faster pass at the same time. So in this way, if the coordinator, if the faster pass fails, then the coordinator can get the slow pass result just in two round trips instead of three round trips. This required us to modify our consensus protocol, and specifically, if the faster pass succeeds, it will always return the same result as the slow path. We do this by requiring the leader to be part of the supermajority. And this means that the faster pass only succeeds when the leader is part of the supermajority. And there's a lot of corner cases we need to handle, and the details can be found in the paper. In addition to these two main techniques, Carousel also implements two optimizations, which has uh, already introduced uh, by other systems. Uh, one is a uh, read for local replicas we trace off a ball rate for lower latency, and another one is we can support read-only transactions using one wide area network round trip. We implement two versions of a carousel. So carousel basic, including mainly just uh, the first technique and also take advantage of read-only transaction optimization, and carousel fast has everything from carousel basic and further implement the second technique and also allows read from local replicas. So this prototype is implemented using Go, and it consists of 3,500 lines of code, and we use the open source raft implementation. For the evaluation, we compare two versions of a carousel and taper, which is a state of our low latency transaction processing system publishing SOSP 2015. And Taper's performance has been shown much better than Spanner. That's why we compare against uh, Taper instead of Spanner. Most of our experiment is run on Amazon EC2, and we have uh, deployed the system across five data centers, and we have five data partitions. For each partition, we have three replicas. Two workloads are used for this evaluation. So Retweet is a Twitter-like workload, where 50% of the transaction is read-only, and the YCSBT is tran a transactional YCSB workload, where each transaction contains four read by write operations, First, uh, let's see the latency CDF by running the retreats workload. So we found that two versions of a carousel have lower latency than taper over the entire distribution. Specifically, in the median, the latency of carousel uh, is a carousel fast is 100 milliseconds less than that of taper. And in the tail, both versions of carousel have shorter tail than taper, and this is because we are bounding the transaction completion time in two round trips. However, taper requires at least the three round trips when there is a conflicting transactions. We also evaluate the latency using YCSBT workload, where this workload does not have any read-only transactions. We cannot take advantage of read-only transaction optimization. So in the median, Taper has a lower latency than carousel basic, 
However, carousel FASTA still has significantly lower latency than, uh, than taper, and this is mainly because of our second technique. We also evaluate the throughput using the retrace workload. So in this graph, the x-axis is target throughput, and the, the y-axis is the committed throughput. Ideally, the committed throughput should close to the target throughput if the system can handle this load. So as we expected, when the target throughput is low, all the systems can meet this target. As we increase the target throughput over 5,000 transactions per second, we found that taper throughput starts to drop significantly, and this is due to the queuing on the taper server, which increased the above rate. As we increase the above rate over 8,000 transactions per second, carousel fast have a lower throughput than carousel basic. And this is because it does more work. It needs to perform the read operations. Uh, it needs to perform the, both slow and the faster path at the same time. From this experiment, we found that Carousel is able to maintain the high throughput while ensuring low latency. So in conclusion, Carousel targets on globally distributed data and it can reduce the latency by parallelizing the multiple layers of transaction execution and it can complete many 2FI transactions just in one wide area network round trip, and it bounds the transaction completion time in two wide area network round trip if there's no failure. And we believe that by significantly reduce the latency for multi-partition wide area transactions, we enable many applications to take advantage of transactions which can reduce the complexity of developing large-scale distributed applications. Thank you. I was just wanting to talk a little bit about um, some of the costs of overlapping uh, significant layer layers um, with the sensors. Um, it seems like your focus is on, on latency. Now, the sensors are focused on the algorithm, which is probably turning Yes. So I'm wondering if you saw any um, additional cost as far as real money being spent uh, or a uh, network bottleneck in terms of getting spread. Yes, that's true. The uh, question is uh, if uh, our uh, protocol is uh, costing more than the, the existing one. And yes, that, that's true. Yeah, we, it thinks we need to perform the slow and the faster pass at the same time. So the, this, uh, we need to send more messages than others if they just uh, sequentially executing the slow and the faster pass. And we, all, we have measured the, the network utilization. We found that our uh, utilization is about 70 MPPS. So it's, not a, a, it's, 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 it's larger than other systems, but it's not a bottleneck. Yeah, the, the result can be found in the paper. Yeah. Yeah, the other systems, I think it's just uh, other systems about, I can't remember, it's uh, the number, <laughs> it's, it's not much larger. Things are, uh, the network bandwidth are usually is about 100 gigabytes yeah, per second, so. Yeah. So for the first optimization you talk about where you move the, uh, you actually execute the read request and prepare the 2PC prepare statement in parallel, you can yeah. do that because you're focusing on this two FI particular 2FI, right? So my question, if you have one transaction, it seems to me you have one transaction that conflict with your 2FI mm. in the right side, then you cannot do that, you right? Mean I mean, the, if you cannot parallelize the prepared statement with the rate. You if you have one transaction that's not 2FI, It's is that not right? 2FI, yeah, you, yeah. Do, uh, you mean? If you, even if you have just one. Yeah, so for the transaction is not fit into the 2FI model, actually we can handle by splitting this transaction into two transactions. So if, uh, if there, for example, the uh -huh. TPCC payment transaction uh -huh. where the write keys can depends on the read value. So this is not the 2FI model. So but we can split this transaction into two, tran two transactions. First one is the read only uh -huh. to get the write keys. And then based on this write keys, we can perform uh, another 2FI transaction. But that requires change in the application logic code, right? Yeah, 
this uh, this requires the uh, change, but I think we focus on the 2FI transaction and we do uh, the optimizations on uh, focus on the 2FI transaction. But for this kind of transaction, we still can support. Yeah, but the performance will be uh, similar to the other systems. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you.